and welcome back to my Thamond into Ireland campaign here in EU4 Common Universalis. So, in in the break, I've been going over some plans of mine, and I was thinking to myself, how can I get away with not spending any more military points on on harsh treatment? And I think the best way to do that is if you look at the unrest that we have in the Scottish provinces, and in fact, in the Highland provinces, the highest ones are brother culture, the some of the biggest... Uh, beyond separatism. Some of the biggest reasons that we have unrest is brother culture, or in uh, the Scottish case, uh, non-accepted culture, and governance efficiency. efficiency. So, the way that you can fix that is by seeing here, show governance capacity. You see, you get negative 10% from, uh, or just, is it? Yeah, negative 10% from uh, accepted, unaccepted cultures of different groups. But you get 40% from uh, accepted cultures of different groups, and you get a difference of 20% from uh, accepting a culture that's in your culture group. So, we will be doing that. So let's go to our uh, government page. And let's go and accept both the... Uh, promote the culture of Scottish and Highlander. Of course, we are going to be trying to phase Scottish out of existence later. But for now, we're going to keep it accepted. Just for now. All right. So, uh, without further ado, let's get unpaused. We're at speed three. Good. And uh, yeah, let's get going. Let's see what that does for our governance capacity. And our unrest. So the unrest is already way down, which is very nice. And our governance capacity, I did not check to see it, unfortunately. It is at 105%, so that's good. It's much better. In fact, it lowers unrest, I believe. Um, no, it doesn't lower unrest, but it it takes away the negative unrest. So that's what our goal here. The other thing I wanted to do was hire some divisors, because we are making four ducats a month. Two of those are 2.2, .2, are subsidies. However, the majority is our own money. so. We're going to be, we have enough to uh, hire advisors now. But we're going to take commercial taxes. That's where we get most of our money right now. We're going to take improved relations. And we're going to take morale of armies guy. Not really having a problem with manpower, but we are having a problem with uh, beating the English. <laughs> so, and the other thing that I want to do, sorry, last thing, I promise. And then we can get unpaused and let some time go by is we want to build some ships. So, like I said, we are making some money right now. Only 2.67. I think we need some heavy ships. I think that's how we're going to beat England in the ship war, or naval war. So, I think we're just going to have to splurge. So it's 0.84. We're making 2.67. So I think for now we're just going to build the one. But later we're going to build more. Um, and we're going to build it, holy crap, 1,430 days? Jeez. Okay, but well we're definitely going to be building them one at a time in our capital then. That is ridiculous. Okay. Oh, and also we should be turning this fort off. The last little thing that I noticed there. And uh, this fort as well. Should make us a little bit more money. Government sufficiency is now at 115%. Nice. Bohemia is renting out troops. Let's um. Let's see. Should we be building any other troops? How many heavies does England have? Ledger. Ships. England has 24 ships in total and 4 heavies. So we're going to need to be able to match him. So I think we just... We make some money now, and then we spend on the heavies as we go. 80%, okay. Let's, uh, let's see, where are the... So it's 4.1 in all places. We might still have to spend some military power to keep this down. But if we have to, we will. We'll, uh, we'll take the sacrifice. With the advisors, hopefully we should be getting enough monarch points that we'll... Uh, and also our good air. We should be able to get enough points to catch up. Because he is on level mil level 6 military attack. We are on... We're on level 6? Okay, good. 
but he's probably going to be getting there pretty getting to level 7 pretty quick cuz we are behind time. They are yes, they have a pretty good leader. The Clinton dynasty. Jeez, I thought they were American. Anyway, And the Gaelic Separatists are also still up in arms. Jeez. Not as much, though. Okay, let's go and uh, core some land. So let's go and core the Inverness. Okay, that's about all we can do right now. We're going to be spending admin points out the wazoo. At the moment, but we'll fix it someday. Okay, Scottish Separatists, anything that we can do? Administrative investment, military investment. Hmm. We could spend on some military points. Might not be a bad idea. But I think we need that money actually for other things. And we could be building some mills. However, I think we need to save for the heavy ships. Jeez. England, this conflict with England is very expensive. Who would have thought? It looks like uh, Burgundy is getting destroyed by Bar, who is getting defended by Austria. So it's basically it's Burgundy getting wrecked by Austria and some HRE miners. Um, he is full siege though, so he will get a 100% war score if he hangs on for a while, but his capital is sieged. So maybe it's turning in the Burgundians' favor. He did, I think... Yes, get his capital looted. That's too bad for him. Okay, there's the... Uh, let's see. Austrian army is at 18,000. The Burgundian army is at... Ooh, 22,000. Jeez. Oh! There goes the war, I think. Um, we are going to lose 66 ducats. Because we have the ducats, so we might as well. Why are these guys black flagged? Oh, because they went into French territory, even though they're not supposed to. I find that the game does that sometimes. Sometimes it lets you walk into countries that you're not supposed to, but it'll black flag you. I don't know if it's just like a, a hard code to like block people from... I don't know, it's weird. This So this happens all the time, and they just kind of like sit there. Not useful for a while, because he's going to have to march all the way back to Austrian lands in order to uh, get unblack flagged. But oh well. Let's see, what else could we be doing? We could be, let's see, who else? Just Portugal is their enemy, but they don't hate them in return. Let's see. We're very close. We could go for a Diplo Rep Advisor and then get a, uh, hopefully get an alliance with Portugal. That would definitely help with the mil the uh, naval concerns. Let's look at the uh, navies of Portugal. Yes, they have the second largest navy and three heavy ships, along with France's three. So that would be a very good idea. Okay. We're going to go and go to uh, here. Diplo Rept guy is two ducats right now, so we're gonna have to. Sp Do I want to spend on him? I don't want to buy this guy because we're gonna have to pay him monthly. So instead, we're gonna go and get rid of him so that he can show up as a plus one advisor. Basically, that's what I want. Um, so let's go and get rid of this guy and get rid of this guy. Wait a month. Hopefully, he doesn't. The Diplo Rept guy doesn't come back as a level two. That would be very annoying. Yes! Oh, dang it! Uh, they've he's, they've recalculated our money situation and they said, uh, yeah, you should have two level 2 advisors. Okay, well, okay, so we're gonna have to go kick this guy out. Some of you might think this is dumb, but I think, I think it's worth it. It's... It'll be, it'll be worth it over time. Okay, so we're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this, and hopefully it'll finally give us a Diplo Rep Advisor, plus one. Uh, with a one. Skill one. 
I have, and we can also promote him as he's, huh? I've never used that actually since this, uh, that feature came out in the last patch. Oh, and we are at 90% on two of our revolts. So we are going to have to do something about that. Especially the Scottish Separatists. Our treatment, 155 military points down the drain. It's painful, but necessary. And Gaelic Separatists. Yep, going to have to do the same thing for them. Actually, wait a second. Oh no, they're at 18,000. Okay, yeah. Why did I not have to do the same thing? Alright. It's unfortunate. Diplomatic Reputation Guy plus one. There we go. Hopefully that was worth it. Might not have been. But, you know, once you already spent the 26 ducats once, you could, I mean, it's not worth it to then hire the 1.7 ducat a month guy. Maybe that's like cost fallacy, but we'll see. Oh, well. So now they want a royal marriage. Perfect. Return from Portugal. Get that royal marriage while the iron's still hot. And then get the alliance. And then it will be said that Portugal and Thamond or Ireland have a, a long-lasting friendship for the rest of the time, hopefully. Actually, they're probably going to colonize. Well, they, we know that they're going to colonize, so we're probably going to go up against them eventually. But for now, they're friends. For like a hundred years or so, we're probably friends. Is there anyone else who would like to be friends, or is close? Yes, there is. Is there anyone on the coast? Yes. Gavre or Utrecht would be good. Let's see. Utrecht is the most enthusiastic about it. Granada would be friends. Interesting. But they're going to get attacked by Castile, so I'd rather not. Um... France, Hamburg. Hamburg would be interesting. They're in a node that we don't care about, so... But I think Utrecht will be the same about. So let's go and get an alliance with Utrecht. Actually, let's see. How many relationship slots do we have, just to make sure. Two out of four. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna go to Utrecht. And say, hey, guess what? We're allies now. Good deal. And then we're also going to go to, I think it was Oldenburg, yes, and go in out. Ah, Hamburg's a better ally because they're a uh, they're a free city, so they're very unlikely to get attacked, and they have a pretty good navy. So let's go with them. Twenty-two out of thirty, they can't get a royal marriage, but when we improve relations, they'll they'll fall fall in. Our money situation is getting better as we lower autonomy and low unrest. This ship is taking forever. Still at 70%. Let's go and get the second one online. Sanitation improved in Irishire. Urbanization, urbanization capacity plus three. Okay, we like that. Oh, speaking of which, we should be spending our admin points on uh, coring. So let's go and get... Let's get a uh, Aberdeenshire. And Sutherland. Yep. Do we have a full core here already? Yes, we do. Okay. So that's the, uh, the Highlands done. Except Orkney, I believe. No, no, no. We got Orkney as well. So now we just have to work on the Lowlands. Sweden, do you want to break away from Denmark? No, you do not. Maybe we'll also be a good ally. Strong Sweden. Trust minus 36. Yep, that relationship's ruined forever. And the Gaelic Separatists are back. Jeez. Well, at least it's the cheaper of the two. Good thing I noticed that. I thought for sure that they'd be done by now. 
Stability minus one. Oh, that's not good. We're gonna have to buy the stability back. That unrest is it really helping us? That uh, negative unrest from stability is helping us out a lot. We need it at the moment. As separatism goes down, though, we'll be fine. Or at least I hope we are. Scottish are 3.7 years, they like 4.3, and by that time, so on average, we should not have to pay down them again, pay them down again. But that's average. You never really know. And we're gonna save money for our carrots. Leave their carrots, early carrots. Are we close to a diplotech that'll give us? When does the next? Level 9, okay, so it's gonna be a while. War with England will probably commence before that. Brittany and Castile, huh? What is going on down there? Granada is somehow occupying. What the heck? And they looted Lisboa. And I think some, they didn't loot it, but they, they occupied all of the uh, Sevilla and Cadiz. Well, it looks like Spain's cleaning up now, but that sure was an interesting one there, Portugal. Nice job getting your capital sieged. I know you're my ally, but that was pretty dumb. There are two province minor. So they have Castilian separatists in Granada. That's funny. Uh, the levy. Uh, we will... Nobles. Do we care about the nobles? Yes. We're going to pay the money. And then we're going to go to the nobles. And we're going to say, give us your... No, we can't. Why can we not give it, take the military power? Influence is 25 or greater. Okay, we're going to spend some prestige. And then we're going to get the band. Military power. Could we get their influence a little bit higher? Is there any land that we don't really want that nobility would profit from? Yes. So let's get them this. And let's get them. Let's get this to the clergy. That'll help uh, lower the unrest a bit. And this one will go to the nobility again. This one, that's clergy. Clergy. Okay. We need to core these before we can do anything with them. Okay. Now let's go to the nobility. So we didn't get them over 50%, but oh well. We could do something, go do another. We could uh, grant generalship. Nobility gains 10 influence. Perfect. You know, it's playing with fire doing this, but. There we go, 100 military points. All worth it. And let's look at our general. How was he? Our new one is out of these guys and they're not very good, so it's too bad. But we do have like a godlike general in this guy. Ooh, we have a uh, Natamoral. I didn't even notice. Let's get him in charge. Not very good, but he's there. Uh, accumulate money, sure. Making plenty of money right now because of those subsidies. Thank you, France. And let's go to Hamburg and get their alliance going so we can start getting the favors. France, how do you feel about us? You love us forever because of our grateful for AIDS. Yep. That sounded terrible. Grateful for aid, not. Never mind. Anyways, <laughs> just gonna, just gonna slowly slip away from that one. My bad. A little bit of a slip of the tongue. Anyway, uh, let's see, these guys are gonna be passing each other. So we can converge them. Good. Johann of Austria. Oh, that's why we're not making as much money as we were. It's because of the bark I and mean, the carrot. Sorry, early Carrick. So yeah, this is going to be a, a, a uh, bit of a 
time of peace as we swallow our lands, basically. So, uh, don't expect too much action in this one. Sorry about that. But, you know, that's what I like about Common Goose House, is that it, it does create more t things to do in uh, peacetime. However, we can't do much right now just because... And, like, go really far into, like, where we should build the best buildings and all that kind of stuff, because we still need to be spending all of our money on military. So, fight England. So, anyway. Hey, uh, Castile, you probably have a lot of war exhaustion. No. Not enough. They do have a lot of occupied and besieged provinces, though. Uh, Sund Sutherland gets influenza. Or we spend the admin points and get rid of it. Yeah. It's usually better to spend it. It's too bad. Does this one get friendly fort? Oh, we should put this fort on. No, we're trying to accumulate money, so it's not. So how is our force limit looking? 12 out of 11, okay. We'll keep them in, but it's unfortunate. Big ships, another 1,200 days. And let's go and fabricate a claim on these guys, as we're going to need to have attack them eventually. Assuming that they don't attack us. Get a court Perth. And we really want to avoid the Civil War. I've had... Civil Wars are much more prevalent in this mob. It's a. Uh, it's almost like you're gonna get a civil war because if you have any overextension over ten percent, and your legitimacy is less than seventy five, you start to get. Um, you start to get the disasters, firing. There we go. Break this cord, nice. Next, we're going to save up for Lothian so that we can uh, get the merchants in charge there and get the trade power that much stronger. Right now, it's getting affected by recently looted and local autonomy further modifies it. Yeah. So, if we put the merchants there, the burghers in charge, then the uh, local autonomy goes away in terms of tr affecting the trade power. So yeah, let's go up to speed 4. We're not doing too much right now. Still improving with the tract. Influential Preacher. Let's go and get... Uh, let's get the Prestige. Yeah. How are we doing in the Pixie? Basically going to stay up, save up for stability. Oh, and we got Scottish Shepherdess at 90% again. Do we want to risk it? It's another 100 military points. I think we gotta risk it. No, we can't. We can't, we can't. That's it's 21,000 men. I mean, it's like... Yeah, we can't. Ah, oh, but it's so much. It's so much for so little. Ugh. I hate using harsh treatment. But it's necessary sometimes, especially when you're a tiny little one province miner at the beginning of the game. When you're conquering giant countries like Scotland. Are they at level 7 military tech yet? Yes, they are. So essentially what we're, I think the war plan is going to be is just sit behind the Lothian fort and then pray that our allies come in in time and uh, deal with the Castilians. So hopefully with the pincer of uh, Portugal and France, Castile would be knocked out early. Then, and with France, Portugal, and, Utre and uh, Utrecht and uh, Hamburg, we will be able to defeat the navies of the English. And our navy, of course, combined. So, we'll have to hope. That's the war plan. 
It would be nice if the, uh, I don't know, they put the castle in Galway or something. But no. They put it in the capital. Which makes sense, but not so good for us. In fact, let's get the claim on Galway. Accumulate money. Good. What's our mission now? I bet we don't even have a mission available. Yep. It's weird. You can't come up with anything to do with England. What else could we be doing? Um... Go to Brittany. Would you want to be a vassal? No, you would not. No, you're too strong for that. That'd be great if we get a foothold in the continent, but that would piss off France, so I guess we can't risk it right now. Anyways. English. Let's see. Lothian, we can now core. Put the burgers in charge and now see the trade power jumped up to 19.5 so that will help us a lot in our north trade trading north sea trading do wonders for us but now we are the strongest trade power nice England being second and then Norway Lubeck how does Lubeck have a bunch it's just ships Ships and the Lubeck Grantor, yeah. Let's go and get tech. Yes. It looks like we're getting some uh, population in uh, our our country. So let's see. Treasure dies, or we lose 10 prestige. I don't want to pay for another treasure, so let's just lose the prestige. Profiteering in Cork. Flanders, we really don't care about their opinion. So we'll take the, uh, yeah, thing. More trade power. Border friction, England's opinion of the Mon goes down. That's fine. They already hate us. They want our provinces in negative 141. They want every single province that we own, basically. No, no, no. I take that back. They don't want some of our core Irish territories, but the majority. Especially Scotland. They really want that back. Let's core another territory. Making 3.66 sockets now with, the, uh, with all these cores coming in. Which is rather nice. It's funding our ships. Speaking of ships, let's get another one on the horizon. Um, take the admin points. Do I want to build it? Yeah, let's just build it in the capital. And let's just go and improve relations with France. Uh, do we have favors with them? We almost have 10 favors. That would be rather nice to have. Although I think they'll attack them anyways. But they might want land then, and we can't give them any land. We could give them Calais, but that I think they're gonna they'll probably get enough war score that they're gonna want more than that. Army organizer is dead. Okay. Go get the manpower guy. It's fine. We'll wait for them to converge, and then we'll get the guy. More admin points. That that relationship is uh, helping us a lot. Nice. And we're schmoozing with some of the uh, European friends, which is rather nice. <laughs> I guess schmoozing is the right word. Cavorting with? Sure. Oh, and we're almost out of time. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And like, comment, subscribe. It really helps me out. Alright. I'm sorry that this was like a little bit of a less uh, exciting episode. But 
you know, you have to have some less exciting episodes, otherwise you're just going to run your country into the ground. So, alright, thank you guys for watching, and uh, all that. Bye.